<laughs> Hello out there. Welcome back hey. to Pillars of Eternity with me, Phil, from Baby Beard Media. We are back at our very own stronghold. And uh, we're here to do some renovations. Check out our lovely um, renovated inn. And uh, visit our talking chair. Now, I did wonder if it would be weird to to like to sit on your throne of your stronghold, given that you know she has a soul. We've we've um, we've tidied things up a little bit. I I think you know the benches could do with being a bit straighter, but that's okay. Hello. I trust all is well, my lady. Uh, please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Uh, I mean, I, I know I can do this from the inventory, but um, from the UI, but I wanted to see her. Say hello. Ah, oh, where to begin? Let's see here. Uh, so we three days to this attack. Uh, we lost a day in traveling when it was only like two hours until the thing was finished. So we'll try and squeeze in getting the barracks up and running. I wonder what happens if I'm not here. <laughs> um, and um, can I kind of teleport home? What's that about? This is totally new for me in a CRPG. Okay, so we started the construction of the barracks. Uh, we... Um, we don't have anyone visiting, I guess. No, that only happened sort of early on. Okay. Um, well, let's go uh, rest at the inn. She didn't have anything else to say, I don't think. So we'll move on. I just wanted to see, you know, how renovations were coming. Take a personal hand in things. Um, don't forget to like the video, please. Um, subscribe if you've gotten 20 episodes deep into this, 25, 26 episodes deep, and um, and you haven't yet. Um, you'll probably want to see more of what we do if you're still watching. Uh, leave a comment if you've got a second. Um, you know, comment about something in the episode. Tips, I'm definitely, definitely open for. And uh, if uh, if you want to support both this and the podcast we do, uh, which is called Rollcast, that's an actual play RPG, um, TTRPG podcast or, or didn't wait what oh we put some we got some pots here is that does this count as cleaned up uh, pretty pretty disappointed what have I am I thinking about the wrong thing uh, main kit bright hollow restoration completed Right, isn't that where I'm standing? No, right, why do I keep pressing that? Um, yes, this is what I want. Bright Hollow. This is this is this is he. Other upgrades can unlock resting bonuses for it. So it's literally okay. you. You can just. I think the stairs were broken before. If I remember rightly, I think the stairs were broken before. All right, then. Uh, yes, so Roll to Cast, that's the uh, TTRPG podcast that we do, different game every season. And so if you want to help us support us doing that um, and more of our Let's Plays, then, um, yeah, we have a Patreon as well. So please check that out. We do a... Um, okay, it was a chest. I have infinite storage I can access telepathically from anywhere, so that's okay. Uh, we just started doing a monthly hangout, right? So... Um, uh, it happens in the last weekend of every month. Uh, we stream it straight to YouTube. Um, and um, if you want to join in the chat, that's available for one of the tiers of our patrons. And we play a game as well. And if you want to join that, that's another tier as well. So, yeah, pa the, the patron comes with some benefits. And you can join our Discord and, and chat with us about All stuff. Right, um, so, yeah, we try and make it worth your while. Hmm, soft and warm. So it's that. I, can't, I like the environmental details, the books laying around. Not sure what's in those little, on those little white papers. Now, um, uh, the tour is lovely, and 
I do feel slightly bad for leaving all of the doors open. Um, whoa. Uh, hey. It's very flavorful, but um, how do I rest? <laughs> this is my question. Same thing about the deerwood. Yes. Hey. Um, oh, the, it's the master bedroom, the one I didn't go into. Surely. Yeah, there we go. The window on the other side of the curtain looks down on a tangled mess of overgrown hedges. Okay, let's rest. No bonus. Uh, but it's also free. Rest. Eight hours pass. So the other thing now is that we need to get to um, Defiance Bay. We have to find the leaden key because whatever they were doing in the woods uh, made me a watcher and awakened me to a past life uh, or both. I'm, I'm not quite sure. But we have to go all the way around the bay to get there. This place still needs a lot of work. Um, two days, 25 hours remaining. I'll doorstep any day now. But, you know, hopefully we can... Finish in one day, 16 hours. Oh, it's me cutting it close. Can't hire anyone unless it's built though, so I don't know what's going to happen here. I don't, I, I don't want to just like press the rest button three days. I, I mean, I guess I could press auto resolve. Uh, I wish there was a bit more um, in game about the mechanic. I'm not going to dip out now and and, and look at the. Um... I'm not going to dip out now and look at the manual. So maybe, maybe um, one of my <laughs> helpful watchers can do that. Or I'll just find out this episode, who knows. Okay, so we repaired the this Western Barbican. Um, I think that's the one we repaired. Let me just check for herbs before we head off. Okay, so can't get to Deerwood Village, we can't get to Wood Bridge, so we have to get go straight down to Wood End Plains. Uh, 18 hours, yes. My attack's coming up fast. Okay. Okay. Glanfathen Soul Hunter has arrived, seeking employment. She was nearly set upon by brigands on the road, but your patrols intervened. I guess that's my growing security value. That's good. Two days, seven hours remaining. And how much is left on this? I wish it was at the top. Finishing 24 hours. Okay. Uh, no one suggested a name for my kitty yet, so that's still open. Oh, who are these? Glanfath? Uh, Primordial. Pukra. They look like dryads to me. They'll never know I'm here. Uh, no, not what I meant. How may I help? Okay. Okay. Fought these guys without too much difficulty in the past. There may be one or two more at the back. It's possible. Let's get a bit of a, a concave on him and we can open with a spell, I think. Uh, how do you do... Oh yeah, you can orient them by doing this. Face this way. Face this way. Yeah, like that. Okay. Try and take out the these guys are probably weaker first. Okay, we'll send them in, and then while that's going off, hopefully, um, so these guys aren't very fleet. Um, they have a little bit of damage reduction for what I think is corrosive. They all look like they're made of wood, so you got pretty bad.
Try that. Try that. Yep, that definitely unstealths him straight away. And I'm going to unstealth these guys. Intercept. And... Not beasts. Let's hobble them. You I might have to wait until the battle lines are drawn before I start putting down buffs. Good hit. There's a lot of trolls there, more than I thought there would be. She's running into spell casting range. It's still going to catch a lot of them, I think, which is great. Not might spells. Um, this, that's just around him. Friendly aura, yeah. Friendly aura. We don't want that. We want something that... that We want is something like that. Can you get around here Indeed. and then go? Fan of flames. Like that, please. You're still casting. Okay, you're not anymore. Go mode. Oh, these guys are summoning spirits. That's no good. Um, we're gonna use carnage. These, yeah, we can definitely do this. You are going to have to defend yourself. Cool. How are we doing? Tanglefoot, some crits, interrupted a bunch of them. That's great. What about Fan of Flames? One hit, three crits. Great. Um, we'll keep. We'll keep doing that then. I don't understand how the spell targeting works. It's like, who it includes and doesn't it's, it could be really arbitrary. It's so strange. That catches him. That catches him at the back. That is nutty. That is absolutely nutty. Um, he's getting wailed on. Give him... Okay, run up here. And then give me an ionic projection all the way through this whole pack. Like that. Great. Good job. You start burning some cooldowns. Who are you currently fighting? This guy. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at all those, those statuses. That's awesome. Uh, actually, hit him with some raw damage. What are you doing? Give me a fairy fire. Okay. What are we getting here? Let's see how effective we're being. Durance, durance, durance. I wanted to see, it's so many spells going off. I really wanted to see Aloth. One hit, two crit. Okay, so the, the battle line's moved. He really wants a piece of me now, which we don't want. Um, so you can back off now. 
you're hobbled, so that can definitely do that. No dramas. Hey, did you? Who, who hit you? What's happened? Oh, he's being shot. Pigra knocked out Aloth. How? Where? How? He's poisoned. Oh, he's got infestation of maggots. Wow. 10 damage by percent of endurance. Uh, lost over 30 seconds. Wow. They've all got it. Ah. Or a bunch of two of them have. Wow, I didn't see that. Okay, hey, lost. you're down. It happens. Uh, focus. Okay. Base on that is always crazy. Um, two hit, two crit. That's great. Oh, cool. How'd you get Aloth? Minus 50% healing received. Whew, that's no good. Okay. Uh, we definitely got some EXP from taking those hey. guys on. How yeah, I didn't realize he got hit f hit with that spell, and it's just like draining life. Uh, you lost a lot of your hit points in that as Follow well. Your Put your pistol, take hey. your pistol back out. Okay, some difficult fights here. Definitely knocked down my characters. And I expended a few spell slots there. It was a lot at once, like the first encounter here. Hey. God, the wilds are out, out here are pretty dangerous. Pretty dangerous. You'd hate to go walking between places or, you know, be a carabineer or something. Jeez. Another memorial left by the backers. Something happened up here. Okay. Yep, seems to be way up. Frequent quicks. Ooh, okay. Forest lurker. How many of them are there? This is the question. Just one. Wow. Yeah, just thumped him on and stuck him for eight seconds. Oh, he's prone as well. Wow. We burn spell slots just to see how we go, because it's just one. I'm just piling on him, he'll go down eventually. Yeah, again, we need we need to diversify our spells a bit so that our incantations aren't all and incantations and spells aren't all fortitude based. Cause it kind of yeah doesn't really help us that much. It's like, let's see how, how accurate this is. 20% chance to hit. 
that it didn't hit. Uh, misses, yeah. It's fine. All good. Um, what yes. we can do is, um, yeah, I would like to sort of modify his grimoires quickly to see if I can't do the same thing with him. He's got a bunch of grimoires, and they got so many grimoires now. Um, what's the one? the one he's using? Is this one right? And all the level two spells are defended by might. Uh, fortitude, sorry. I should start using the correct terms. Uh, all the level two ones are. So let's look at the level two ones. Yeah, I don't have a lot of... This is a reflex. So maybe I want to take one out for that. Could have used that on the Puigas... Um, I like Paralyzed. Uh, I'm going to take out the Siphon in this Grimoire. And put in uh, Rolling Flame. This is sort of like an aggressive Grimoire almost. Um, do you like Eldritch Aim? Okay, we'll leave this grimoire as is. We don't want them all ending up the same. Uh, I haven't used this one ever to cone, pierce, damage, and hobbled, and it's versus reflex. Uh, let's go ahead and learn this. Yes, that's fine. Um, we can make this more of a defensive grimoire, so we take out Rolling Flame, put in Bulwark, maybe put in Siphon. These are two of the same damage. We've got a single target Nick. Um, yeah, that's fine. I don't have a lot of spells. You know, available to me to be messing around and recombining them. I've got extras I can learn here for pretty cheap, actually. So I might as well go ahead with these. Uh, just, just check 1600. Yeah, a couple of hundred here and there's not bad. So let's grab the spells. No, cancel. So this is Consul Halt's Parasitic Staff, which I don't think is very good. It summons him a staff that he can whack with uh, to give himself back endurance. It's, I don't know. Uh, I don't want Aloth on the front lines. It's weak AF. And then we've got Jolting Touch, which is literally straight away, like straight at, uh, at touch range, I believe. Two meter jump. Target. So I think it's two meters and then two meters from them. It's versus deflection, which is cool. Uh, I might try it in this grimoire. Put in aim in here. What have we got here? The miasma of dull mindedness. We'll take that. Perception, intellect, and resolve. Um, uh, I, I'm willing to try this out. I don't really want to try this out. Um, I think this is touch only. Yeah. Let's try out jolting touch. And we'll put thrust in this grimoire as well. We'll put fetid caress and obviously fireball. Um, and Osiris grimoire's got even more fleet feet. This looks like garbage. Uh, this gives stuck. Versus Fortitude, ah, level 3, how, how much is this? 300, oh, it's not that much. What is it? And it can put it on all my Grimoires, Crafting Bolt. Living Generator for a powerful bolt which is, it streaks out in a straight line, bounces off walls, harming anything caught on its path. Sure, let's take it. And we'll quickly add it to the Grimoires that we're using.
Ding. Great, another third level spell option. Um, we'll try out this one for a while. Oh, this is Marewolves. I haven't used this one for a while. It's not what I thought it was. No, this is the defensive one. Uh, spell rights time. Haloths. Okay, I don't know. Um, not this one. We'll try out the spell rights. It's got some interesting spells I want to test in it, like this one and this one. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give that a go. I feel like it's the only way I'm going to get used to what spells are good, which ones I like, is by swapping them in and out and, and, and trying them and, and seeing how they work in combinations with each other. Sometimes when I save it just jumps. Uh, okay, so this gives us access to Stormal Gorge and shows us a bit more of the map. Cool. It's a big, big map. It feels like this whole corner up here. Maybe there's some things in here. Maybe there's another map. It is a world map. Who knows? Anyway, moving on. We're not going there yet. We're going to see what the dealio is with the dead bodies. Body. Just a dead adventurer. Not wearing good enough armor, unfortunately. Anything hidden? You'll never know I'm here. Nope. Just a dead adventurer. Ho hum. I do like these little interludes of exploring these little world maps. Hello. Hello, Mr. Forest Lurker. Ha! <laughs> Sat him on his butt. Yeah. What if we. I, I know they, they're kind of trash, but. Um, it's not that high, so. And we'll probably flank him. Yeah. What are they doing? 2 slash damage. 0. 0.6 slash damage. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's it's not nothing, I guess. 1, 2. <laughs> there are more chances to interrupt, I guess, as well. Oh, she, she should not be taking the front line here. At least she's got the Guardian stance. Hey. Give me your living wood, please. She also has a wound binding to burn as well. Which gives her an effective 40% extra health. To be taken at my leisure. Okay, just having a walk in the woods. Just looking, looking. He'll never know I'm here. Save often. Uh, and, you know, I think outside of boss characters, you know, enemies are going to usually have one kind of defense that, that is open, right? Um, it still doesn't get me to Edelwyn Bridge. Maybe I have to go off left. Uh, yeah, they're going to have one kind of defense that they're open to. Still haven't learned much about these guys. Just a bit of their, their reduction. Uh, yeah. You can go first. Yeah. And then the rest of you go. That's it. And that means you should target the one who can actually def block him. You can just save the last spell slots. He's that. Yes. What I should be doing is moving her. Oh, she's stuck. Okay. Um, give me some scallywags to her flank. And he's down. Hey. Bye, spooky skeletons. Thanks for your help. Of course. Your Halloween themed help. Okay. Yep. 
Still just storm or gorge. I'll just check. Ah, oh, I see. Yes, searing falls. I wonder if I am missing some kind of exit here that I haven't haven't walked out of Gilded Vale in this direction. Maybe. I think I have though. Yeah, maybe. Okay, where are we? Okay, let's do this middle part here before we, we head on wider. These vaps vary in size, I feel like they do. I feel like they do, they must, they must. Can all be the same size, I'm making sense. Okay, a random flame and sound. carriage here. Aloth, is there anything hidden here? Wine dregs swirl around the bottom of the clay jar. We got a bow and some money. Oh, I missed that one. We've got potion of major regeneration, a valoon, some sort of gemstone, and more money. Hey there. Hey. Bit of multitasking. Of course. Nice and quiet. Okay, heading into the fog of war. Okay. I said I was heading into the Fog of War. I didn't say I wanted to be catapulted into the Fog of War. Something to do with the hitch uh, while saving if I'm touching the edge of the map, I think. Ooh. We've been spotted. We've been made. Okay. We do not want her casting these spells, although that spell does not do anything against people who are uninjured, I think. Okay, well, she's been dazed. That's great. What is this? Cool. Why are you not fighting? Because you haven't been detected yet. So you guys have got hit with the maggots. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't do much up the top. You got that interrupty one. You don't want to fight extra enemies. I just have to try something. Okay, didn't work. Okay. Those maggots really do a number on him. And he's got the the lower okay. healing as well. At least it was only one. Wonder if she is patrolling away from a larger group. Hush, Itumak. We'll just wait a little longer. Hello, are you someone I can recruit? North to Kednua, west to Defiance Bay. Oh, you look cool. You look a ranger, like a, a dwarf. Cool. Love the portrait. Um, Sagani, a dwarven woman dressed in skins and hides, leans against the road marker. Her face is turned down, her eyes darkened by a thick stripe of face paint. She's sharpening a bone arrowhead with a scrimshaw-handled knife. Scrimshaw's carved whalebone. Her attention, however, is focused on a bear figurine between her feet. A large white-furred fox standing at her heels look up, looks up at your approach. Easy, Itumak. It's not him. Um, let's not go for the gender-based jokes. Who are you waiting for? 
I'm looking for a very, very old friend. I'm not sure what skin he's wearing now, but I'll know him when I see him. Okay. Um. Can I help you find him? I'm just really helpful. That's my, that's what I'm role playing as. Really helpful. Um, she stops sharpening her arrowhead and slowly folds her arms. That's an interesting question. The last helpful stranger only succeeded in lightening my purse. I think I'll handle this on my own. Well, your friend is supposed to meet here. That's what I heard. Of course, the man who told me so was carrying a staff he claimed was made from dragon bone, but I know Whitewood when I see it. That should have been my first clue, but I had to try something. Back up. What does this stranger have to do with the your friend? Version. Here we go. I'm from an island to the far south called Nasitok. Mm -hmm. I came here looking for a village elder, a man we knew as Persok. I'm a hunter back home, so tracking someone wouldn't normally be a problem. But Persok's trail is cold, to say the least. Okay, so I thought when she said what skin he's wearing now, I thought she meant like he'd been reincarnated, reawakened, something like that. Um... How long have you been looking for Persok? Her painted brows lower and her compact muscular frame sags for just an instant. Five years. Why can't you find him? There can't be that many of her people in the Deerwood. He died when I was... Ah, so I was right. He died when I was still a young girl. Forgot to mention that part, did I? I'm looking for his latest reincarnation, which could be anyone. So you've been searching five years for a stranger you barely remember who could be anyone now that about sums it up um why do you have to find him uh that's more of a campfire tell i'm not quite ready to get into it um actually i know you how you feel sympathies. hopefully you've got a better lead than i do she looks at the Audra figurine in the dirt. Um, how does that statuette figure into it? She dusts the figurine on her trousers and raises it in her small flat palm. It's carved in the shape of a bear, smooth and round. The polished Audra is worn to a dull mat along its arched back and ovoid haunches. A soft glow emanates from within. Cute, isn't it? It belonged to Persaw. Before he returned to the wheel, he left a splinter of his soul in it. Something to help us find him later. As she holds it out to you, you feel wisps of sensation. Not quite memories, but traces of someone. When I left Nasitok, it was completely dark inside. But as I've gotten closer to Persok, it's glowed Ooh. steadily brighter. It's a hot and cold Since thingy. Since I've reached the Deerwood, however, it's gotten hard to read. Some days it flickers and goes dark. Mm -hmm. Others it shines nice and bright. For a few hours. But most of the time, it looks just like this. Um. I could take I've a look at it. I've heard that one before. <laughs> the whole reason I'm standing here is because some so called watcher from Forked Vale told me he could take a look. For a few Golden Dukes, of course. I was on my way out of the Balmarsh when I heard talk mm -hmm. of a traveling mystic who could supposedly see souls. I knew it was a long shot, but what did I have to lose? I went to see this fellow and gave him the Audra figurine. He made a big show of moaning and rolling his eyes, and after I'd given him five golden dukes to lift the shroud, he told me to seek the crossroads in the field between the wolf's lair and the twining trees. Um, what's the wolf's lair? Defiance Bay. Locals call the current Duke Wolfgrin. Sounds like he'd be fun to drink with. Is Twinning trees, twining trees, a uh, real place. He meant twin elms. I haven't been there yet, but I hear they have some especially memorable trees. He thought Go he was on. being vague, but I know the area well enough to recognize that he meant this place, right between Defiance Bay and Twin Elms. I had a bad taste in my mouth, but my coin was spent and I'd already left an arrow in his knapsack as a friendly warning. <laughs> Told him I'd come back and leave him with another if it turned out he was giving me the runaround. I've been here a week now. Guess he had the last laugh after all. Um. What if I'm Persok? 
Not to disappoint you, but there's no chance. This thing would glow like a torch. You could still go after that false watcher. She swats at the air. I was mostly trying to scare him. I wouldn't really kill a man over a few gold pieces. I don't have much use for coin anyway. Besides, knowing his type, he's cleared out of town now and spent whatever he made. May I see the figurine? She looks at the Audrey bear and then back to you, her eyes narrowed. Why? Um, I'm a real watcher. Me to believe that? After the story I just told you? Um... I mean it. Fine. But if you try to run, just remember that my arrows are faster. Thank you for trusting me. She hands you the figurine, her chapped knuckles grazing your hand. She watches you examine it, wary but curious. You raise the Ardra bear, turning it in the light. As your eyes catch a tiny glinting scratch, the scenery around you melts away. You are standing on a cliff overlooking the water, seeing through eyes that aren't your own. You catch the musk of beasts amidst, amidst the fresh scent of vegetation. Medi ah. We'll start that one again. It was a nice one, but a little tough on the old chompers. You're standing on a cliff overlooking the water, seeing through eyes that aren't your own. You catch the musk of beasts amidst the fresh scent of vegetation, and your heart beats a little faster. You'll have to watch your step up here. You look down just long enough to see the sharp, pale cliffs drop into the water hundreds of feet below you. I see a vision of cliffs high over the water. Does that sound familiar? Uh, your question is greeted with shrugs and silence. Return the figurine. I've got it. He's standing what on a cliff. What just happened? I told you, I'm a watcher. I know this sounds strange, but uh, it's the truth. You realize I've got no coin to give you, even if I did believe you. Um. Come with me. I've got other business in the area, and we can look for Persuk on the way. And if this is your idea of a joke, you may be stuck with me for a while. <laughs> Lead the way. She tucks the figurine into her pouch, and her fox stands, shaking its pale coat. Lead the way. I'm guessing she's a ranger. They, they classically are the ones with pets. And that fills out my party to six, uh, which is I'm very, very happy about. I, I, I don't know where that is. This is the main quest that I'm looking at. Um, Eden wants to look at the archives. He just wants to travel together longer. Um, oh yeah, I haven't gone underneath uh, Kednua. I haven't explored that more. Okay, that's something to do at some point. Uh, the Endless Paths, which is part of that. Um, the Long Hunt, uh, yeah, this is her new quest, great. Uh, what was her name again? Uh, she needs leveling up. So, Sagani. We will level up Sagani. We'll have a look at her mechanics and what she does. Um, and then uh, we'll wrap it up so you don't have to sit through uh, me leveling at the beginning of the next episode. We can get right into it. Uh, Itumax, her pet, and Sagani is her name. Okay. We have a ranger. Let's pump some stealth points. And a little athletics. Don't need these, I think. Might take some mechanics. It's good to have uh, mechanics that lets you spot traps. And if I'm going to stealth her up, um, I think it's what makes you see things like hidden stuff as well. Maybe. Not sure. That might just be their perception. Uh, next. No new class unlocks. Okay, so classes. So um, some of them are to do with companions. And this one is to do with shooting. Uh, deadlier aim. So 10, plus 10 accuracy. Accuracy is really good. Uh, winning shot, I guess I get already. Um... Wounding shot. 
don't know what wounding shot does, but it modifies it to hit more often, which is good. Uh, here's the effect of it. Hobbled, so they walk slower. Dexterity reduced by two. Movement by one point five. Reflex by twenty. Okay, so it does actually lower their their reflexes as well. Um, okay, and it does extra damage over time. Cool. Then we have companions as well. So we've got vicious, um, more damage and penetrate damage reduction. So damage bypass. And then we've got resilient companion, against improved damage reduction against all damage types, faithful, uh, plus 30 defense against charm, dominated confused attacks, and they don't last as long, and merciless, just a ton of damage. These are standard across people. Marksman might be good. Yep. Yeah. These weapon categories are really interesting. Um, as one of the listeners is pointing out, you got a one hand, you got light one handed, and they can sort of go up to two handed and ranged, depending on what you, you go. So if you're an adventurer, you have like bow, right? War bow, polar, castock, flail, wand. Um, defensive, these are all standard as well. That might be nice for her. Um, yeah, this is that is the one that does other people. It's one of the few things you can do to heal the health. Only twenty percent, but it can can do it. Okay, um, this one feels like a nice uh, like a nice um, balance damage. So not you know, 30%, but the damage bypass feels like it would be come in like value. Three damage, like guaranteed to go through every time. Okay, let's take that for now. Uh, we can maybe take the wounding shot, which is our other favorite next time. Okay, so stealth again. Mechanics. Okay, ranger abilities. Swift aim, which is a modal. Less accuracy, but more attack speed and reload speed. Speedy and fluid offensive rhythm, reducing accuracy, but increasing fire rate and reload time with ranged weapons and attack rate with melee weapons. Okay, yeah, okay. Marked prey, one per encounter, doesn't use a single target uh, as prey, giving the ranger and animal companion a damage bonus against that target. Yeah, this is yeah, this is the standard one from D and D. Um, Hunter's mark, marked with thirty-four stamina plus twenty percent damage. We like percentage buffs; they're good. Predator sense heightens the predatory instinct of the ranger's animal companion, giving them a damage bonus on any creature suffering a damage over time effect. Okay. And vicious aim by lowering attack and reload rate, the damage they take more careful aim, giving them increased accuracy and damage. So you slow down your range attack speed, get bonus damage and accuracy. Um, let's take marked prey as it does both ranger and animal for now. Pump that stealth. More survival. Okay. So I quite like the accurate wounding shot. So she gets two of these per encounter. It would be nice to give it plus 10 accuracy so they always land. Uh, that feels good. Uh, no. That kind of feels nice. That's crossbows. Uh, that's scepters and stuff. Primal Bane, Ghost Hunter, Sanctifier. I mean, these these feel like, yeah. 
any damaging effect. This would be quite nice if she if she like shoots a lot. That's melee attack speed, penetrating shot. Mode or so she can turn on this mode. Sacrifice attack speed for increased damage reduction. No, it's actually increased uh, damage bypass. Damage reduction bypass. Okay. Um, these feel like so niche. You'd have to like get all of them. Like you're gonna be fighting a range of different things all the way through, right? Um, I want this one. So it never feels like, I mean, I guess you could build one of your companions as a specialist for fighting that sort of thing. Uh, it doesn't feel like a good idea though to me. Okay. Now we have more choices. Swift aim, I didn't like that much. The penalty accuracy isn't that high for a plus 50% reload speed. Maybe. Defensive bond. Empathic bond, ranger animal companion yields a peculiar natural awareness of incoming danger, giving both a significant bonus to defense when both are subjected to the same area of effect attack. Stalker's link. Uh, plus 10 accuracy when both are... Oh, that's good. Deflection against ranged attacks. Kind of like Vicious Aim. That is big accuracy, big range damage. I feel like Stalker's Link is is money though. This doesn't have any drawbacks and you get that 10 accuracy if you just put them on the same enemy the whole time. Uh, I feel like that's, that's good. That's good. Doesn't require much extra to do in battle. Right, she is leveled. She comes with a unique bow and she goes one-handed with her others. Interfering fine, accurate fine. So they've they've already got double double things on them. She can have some potions. Some defensive stuff. Good, good, good. Um, do I have anything stashed for you? I mean, a nice hat. What do we got? We got uh, da, da, da. some of this stuff. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. Her her armor is at least upgraded a little bit fine hide armor, yeah. Um the penalty's not that much. I might just pop her up into scale. I like the look of her old armor, but that's fine. Do we have any, we don't have any buffy things. Uh, she can have a cape though, for sure. Like a tattered cape, uh, red cape. Oh, it's gray, that's not good. Ah, what do they keep? They go back to the same place. That sucks. Are these all the same tattered cape? They are. Uh, so there's this one. Yeah, all right, she can go with that. Um, yeah, we don't even have everyone outfitted with all kind of, this, these side items are quite few and far between. It's good she comes with a good bow though. There we go, that is Sagani, welcome to the party. We now have six 
And I guess soon we'll have to start making choices. But for now, I am going to make the choice to leave you. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, please, uh, about how I, the choices I should have made for this character, what you would have done, or tips for playing her. And I'll see you next time. Bye.